During that period before the poles reassert themselves, our Earth's magnetic field drops to as low as 10% of its current strength. In theory, this could leave us much more vulnerable to all the solar radiation space throws at us. We could see auroras reaching much further south during that time. Skin cancer rates would increase. Our satellites would find themselves with not enough shielding. Radiation would fry their circuits, causing them to malfunction, shut down, and potentially even slowly fall from orbit. Our electrical grid would be much more vulnerable to solar storms, which could lead to large segments of the Earth's population without power. With no electricity or satellite communication, it would be a devastating blow to our global civilization. It could be worse than that. A research team from the University of New South Wales in Sydney even linked one of the most recent weakenings of the magnetic field, the Le Champs event, a temporary 800-year wobble rather than a full flip, to megafaunal mass extinctions in Australia, including the deaths of Diprodoton, giant Australian wombats, and Procoptodon galaya, giant kangaroos. Temporary wobbles like this are known as geomagnetic excursions rather than full reversals, and they happen over much shorter time frames. Their transition periods can last as little as 200 years rather than 10,000, which can be much more difficult for species to adapt to. 